The question is, why isn't my purpose being fulfilled? Proverbs 15.22 says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. You fall on your face. Proverbs 20.18 tells us, every purpose is established by counsel. You know, where we mess up a lot of times is that we come up with our own plan. God gives purpose. He does everything after the counsel of his own will. Every purpose is established according to the counsel of God's will. And because purpose is what God sets forth, the exhibition, what he sees me being, what he sees me doing, what he sees me accomplishing in life. If I go about it my own way, I will be a disappointment to me, to those around me, and to God. There's a scripture. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord, not you. With all of your heart, don't lean to your understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. But how does God direct our paths? The way that he does that is through that counsel we just mentioned. Isaiah spoke about it. He speaks that God operates based on the counsel of his messengers. What his messengers say, what his prophets say, if it's from God, he confirmeth their words and he does based on what they say. The counsel of his messengers is the basis for God doing things in your life, not you figuring out on your own what you're going to do and putting together your plan. So remember, Jesus is, according to Isaiah 9 and 6, wonderful. The mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Oh, wow. I left out one, that is counselor. And that is the only one of that group, which is a verb. God takes action based on the counsel that you receive. He does based on what advice he gives. And he gives his advice to his counselors. They confirm the counsel of God, and he says, if you leave that step out, your purpose will be disappointed. How do I not fulfill my purpose in life? Do what you want to do the way you want to do it. Come up with your plan, and you will fall flat.